All right, no question Wisconsin has been the biggest pain in Nebraska since the Huskers joined the Big Ten Conference. And what makes last year's loss to the Badgers sting a little more is Mike Riley came up short in his first game against his old buddy Paul Christ. Old friends and football rivals, the Huskers and the Badgers, that's the talk today in Lincoln. We hate each other nowadays. I think. <laughs> Mike Riley just joking about his friendship with Wisconsin head coach Paul Christ. You see, the two have been friends for 25 years and will once again be on opposite sidelines come Saturday. You know, and we, we laughed about it this morning. As a matter of fact, it's not Paul against Mike. It's the Badgers against the Huskers, and that's the way it should be. This will be the sixth meeting between the Badgers and the Huskers since Nebraska joined the Big Ten, and Wisconsin has owned this series, winning four out of five meetings, especially in Madison. Consider this. Wisconsin's outscored Nebraska the past two games in Madison, 107-41. to 41. But the Huskers say that history, just history. This is a totally different team than it was in 2014, so there's really nothing I can compare about that. And we got different coaches, different players, so no, you really can't compare. It's just a matter of playing better than them on Saturday night. That's what it's going to boil down to. His, the, the history of it doesn't really matter to me. What matters is a major test against a team the Huskers called the best they've seen so far. We need, you know, Get, get a test like this to see how well we do. And um, I think our, our team is excited for it. And um, we're looking forward to going up there and getting a win. All right, being 7-0, going up to Camp Randall against a good Badgers team, you don't really need to motivate these guys anymore. They know what's at stake. Um, we set ourselves for, up for a big game, great atmosphere, and uh, this is the reason why you play football. All right, some good news and bad news injury-wise. Mike Riley expects Jordan Westerkamp to play Saturday, though tight end Seathan Carter expects to miss his third straight game with an elbow injury. And Mike Riley says he's hopeful that both of his starting tackles, Nick Gates and David Neville, will be ready Saturday against the Badgers. It's Nick Gates on the left, both fighting ankle injuries. And that banged-up offensive line, one of the reasons why the Huskers had issues moving the ball on the ground against the worst-run defense in the league Saturday against Purdue, especially early on. With more, here's Big Red Zone Insider, Sean Callahan, OscarOnline.com in Lincoln. When you go back and examine Nebraska's struggles on the offensive line this past Saturday against Purdue, it was very evident on first down. On 18 first down plays in that game against the Boilermakers, the Huskers had two yards or less, and that I think played a big part in, in just how that offense performed. If Nebraska wants to have a successful day at Wisconsin this Saturday, they're going to have to get much more efficiency on first down and give Tommy Armstrong more of that run pass option on second and third down. With the Huskers here in Lincoln, I'm Sean Callahan of HuskerOnline.com for KTV News Watch 7 Sports.